Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. It's been a while, but we have eventually got our 800 UU matter. In fact, I actually got the UU matter on Friday, I think. But, being the weekend, I can't record, so we can carry on and start with that one. i also got a tip. Well, to deal with that in a second, let's get on with the UU matter first of all, because what we want to make are these antimony ingots. So let's see if we can craft those now. And we need 40 antimony ingots. Wherever they are, and the money ingots, we'll take those four out, then we need the other 40. So we've got our 800 UU matter to craft 40 of those to craft 300 of these. Well, in fact, the other way around, of course. So let's start that. Put those back in again, and because that doesn't count to the thing, so we can have a look at that job. So sure enough, it's making these tetrahydrate dust, and they should be getting processed in that compact machine. I'm not exactly sure which one it was now, to be honest with you. It's been a while. Um, this one was to deal with the gold. Let's have a look inside this one, because it's been a while since we looked at this one. Make sure that everything's empty. It is indeed is all empty. So this thing has got no, no materials in it, which is great. And this has also got nothing in it either, so that's also good. The next one along was the big one, which was for doing... Ah, oh, yes, this is where it's going to be doing it, isn't it? As you can see, things are definitely turning around, so we are making stuff in the industrial centrifuges, and they're all getting populated, and they're all starting to work. Hopefully everything's got enough power. Looks like it's everything's hunky-dory, so to speak. Ah, oh, that's brilliant, actually. Really good. So those are emptied out and we'll just basically, well, I'll just carry on processing now and we should get some antimony dust, which then should go into the blast furnace, which I haven't moved, is still over here. And as soon as we get some of that, that'll carry on processing. Nothing in it yet. Okay, good. Phew, that has taken what? I don't know how many days it's taken to do that. In fact, this morning I came in and everything was blocked because there was no more capacity in the system. And the reason there was no more capacity in the system was I went to the moon and then I, or the mi uh, mine of, moon of mining, I set up another quarry with an efficiency five quarry and it just filled up the system with, as you can see, moon rock and different types of moon rock, moon dirt and everything. It's just got completely full and I got nowhere to process it. So everything, just, everything got full and nothing could then carry on working as normal. In fact, I should find a better way of doing that, shouldn't I? Because the quarry won't continue if this doesn't exit. It was, um, what did I do? I, f I cleared, I finished it by basically putting up four more. I checked in the, took everything out, all the cells out, and put them one at a time into the chest. And then you can see what's going on. So it's already filled up two of these <laughs> resonant ca caches here. And it'll be filling up this one fairly fast, I guess. It's going to get full up before we can maybe fill up that as well. <laughs> and I am sieving it as well at the same time. And that's also causing more items to get made, be made and fill up the system altogether. All right. I probably could actually disable this. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Let's take one of these. Uh, what shall we take out of here? Moon dirt. Let's take some moon dirt out of here and just... Tell you what, we'll do. put an RR pickaxe in there. It's never going to get find an RR pickaxe, so that'll block it up and stop the stuff pr producing for a while. Because I, I basically I had to do that because I ran out of carbon. Uh, well, carbon was getting very low. So, right, antimony. So that was that one. Now, Wolf Wolf One gave me a tip, and it's basically his tip was it was all to do with making cupinicum. But of course, one of the things we could do was to actually make slime balls. And I was looking at how to make slime balls, magnet creams, and the rest of it. It was really a magnet cream thing. If we decompose magnet creams, to look at uses of this, we should be able to decompose this. Chemical decomposer. We get mercury. We get polymethyl metal chloride, and we get plutonium. I'm actually not sure where the mercury comes from. Because to make 
a magna cream we need plutonium which is a basically a blaze powder plus polymethyl metal cryate which is what I've been making to make slime balls so the plutonium is just basically if we look at the uses of that it's just um, it's just a blaze powder so we get a load of mercury from that as well and so you can add the mercury to oxygen which was 80 plus 12 which was um, magnesium that gives you that gives you 100 and then you add another 12 magnesium I think and that was what we we're getting oh, maybe I'm not sure about the arithmetic so anyway let's see if we can actually make some slime balls and there is another recipe for slime balls and it's this one in actual fact this is actually quite an easy recipe let's clear that off clear that over here we can actually craft a recipe up in here let's do that with slime balls I need to change the mode I can do that like that so we can now put this in here now cactus green I don't have a recipe for sugar we do I think we've got a recipe already for sugar let's go and have a look no I don't have a recipe we have a recipe for sucrose and I think the uses of sucrose if we can now we can't do it that way maybe we can do that less if I click off it click in that or somebody and press no it doesn't work so let's let's look There's a lot of mobs outside at the moment they're a bit loud for me sucrose so I've got four sugar let's take those out of that let's have a look at the recipe for those basically sugar cane that's well we know about that pulverizing sugar cane gives me twice as much which is also good but we can mine chem it from uh, sucrose so that would be no problem we can make sucrose because that's basically simply carbon oxygen and hydrogen those are the basic things and we get sugar in fact I should already have a recipe for this we've certainly got a recipe for sucrose let's have a look Yeah, we can craft sucrose. So let's craft some sucrose. Uh, yeah, we'll craft some sucrose. Depending on how many, how many have to make two, don't we? Start that. So we've got some sucrose. Now that makes sugar. So that's the separate crafting recipe for that one. Now we need to press this button. So one sucrose, I think, makes one sugar. Like that. So we then have that pattern. The next thing we can do is to make cactus green. Now, the cactus green is, is simply made in two ways, I think. Well, that's an unusual way. I won't do it that way. It's expensive. It's cactus in the redstone furnace. We're getting actually quite a lot of cactus. We can also with zinc green, which is possibly more difficult. So I guess the best way is cactus, because we've got a cactus farm. We've got plenty of cactus, as it happens. Um, in fact the cactus is full 5,000 cactus the reason the cactus is full is because the farm got full the farm got full because the water wasn't being processed anymore so I got plenty of cactus in there and I emptied it out just yesterday so as you can see we've got plenty of cactus coming out here something shooting something rather and of course we've got the sugar cane well sugar cane we can actually do this as well that's not bad idea let's just do this I need my put that in my hot bar we got 30 because one thing we can actually do is to put these in the phyto grow machines by the way I'm going to just check my antimony ingots 29 so it's actually made five so it must be it must then be bro it must be in some in the blast furnace I thought they would take at least a whole episode to make these things yes you can see 22 in there so that'll be carried on being heated and cooked and preparing for our next part of the pro job wow who was to make I can't remember what I had to have to make this a look because um a different key for this thing I probably should change it so I think it was take 
light indeed it is especially if we're making few the fusion reactor which is needs to go in all this antimony ingots i think everything else is ready for that so that's okay so while that's carrying on we needed 64 that was what was holding us back if you look at the uses of this all right i can make some punchy sticks which i've not bothered doing in this game i don't think that's fuel but we can also put this in the phyto grow so with a phyto grow with some grow will double it which isn't that great so sugar is probably better made um using the chemical processing well it's going to be faster isn't it so cactus green well we've got cactus let's go and set up a recipe for this oops let's take one of these oh take no already 64 good so what we can then do of course we can make a cactus green so what we'll do is we'll just set up a new processing recipe have i got a cactus green in my system Yep, 36 and that's just a redstone furnace recipe so let's have a look so let's set these up now so the redstone furnace i might not have any space in fact i'm thinking about it let's see what else look for furnace <laughs> that's full but to be honest with you i don't need this one in here but I'm not sure I need emeralds either for that matter okay we don't need that one definitely what else can we do so these are just basically slime balls that's a cactus and that's a synthesizer pattern isn't it maybe we've got maybe we've got a spare one we do I'm not sure where it is we'll try it and see if it actually works so that's a crafting recipe this is a slight uh, yeah ah yes of course we've got to go and find that because I need to go and set up the recipe in the book so we need to create a book for that as well so let's do that thinking about it have we got an empty one in here no I know where they are. I remember where they are. Even though it's been ages, I can actually still remember I put them in my overfull bag. And then we can put that into here like this. So I'll put the sugar into here. So we can see the recipe like that. That will put it into the, the special book. I'll put it into the general book. And then we'll come to the special book here. And we shall select sugar as a recipe. So now I've got to go and find the synthesizer that's connected to. Mm -hmm. That's going to be actually slightly more interesting because I can't don't know so that's, it's probably in the factory so let's kind of look at the factory one of the funny things that happens when you've been offline for a while is you get mobs spawning all over the place ah here we go emeralds nope not one of those I wonder which synthesizer I could have put that into these are all chemical decomposers which are not being used. Maybe this one. Indeed, right one, well, fantastic. Cool. Do you know? So I can put sugar in into the pattern there. That's going to be good. Let's put one of those in there. So we can then put the book into here, sugar book into this one. sure enough that will make sugar for us so we should be able to call up some sugar yeah we can craft some recipe there craftable well, let's make uh, 16 let's see if it's actually working that's empty and that's working coming in because it's got to synthesize these at the same time so we'll have our sugar when we come back again sixteen perfect let's see if we can make some cactus green now got thirty six let's see if we can craft sixteen I should do it like this will be faster won't it Top six start that 
They should then come into the redstone furnace, which I think is here. Oh, perfect, look at that one, it was fast too. So now we should be able to create slime balls. Did I? I haven't put this into anywhere yet. We have to go and find a slot for it. Maybe I can find it easily enough in here. Maybe there's a slot free in one of these. But, um, oh yeah, this one's free. Oops. <laughs> <clears throat> Wrong place. Let's look for patterns. That'll be the one. Is that the right one? Slam ball, indeed it is. They're actually fairly full. Oh, actually, that's not going to work, is it? It needs to be in this place. It's down here. I've got a feeling that all of these are full. But I do know where there is one that isn't full. Ah, that's one we look. Slime ball. So we should be able to craft slime balls as well. Now that would be interesting because I've got two recipes for slime balls. Let's have a look. And I've also got 256. If they craft 10, so what's he going to do? It's going to use the chemical mechanism. Okay, let's go and remove that one. I should be able to find it with this system I've got here, which is excellent. Let's just remove it from the top here. And try that again. Where did that come from? Let's craft 16 of these. Now that's that's how it's going to work. So it should work. And we basically needed curd cheese as well. And I've actually got a lot of cheese. So let's, let's look for how much cheese we've got in here as well. Moon cheese. We've got 2,600 plus 404 ores. Now the ores are basically because I put the silk touch pick, uh, quarry there. So let's, let's look at the uses of that one. Try again. Okay, we can make some decorative blocks. Get seven for those. I wonder if we can get, we could actually make an orange drop if we could get the other bits. Redstone furnace. Actually, it's not really, it doesn't look like it's any better, does it? Nothing special, can't decompose it. We can't do anything really special with it. We can't get double it. Make some pretty patterns with things and that's about it. Okay, so that actually, in fact, is no better than doing it that way. So that was my tip from Wilfon. Thank you very much, by the way. I'm glad you were still thinking about it. So let's go back to the base, which I'll do in a few seconds. Let's just put, I've got an import chest in here, haven't I? Let's put these back in again. Don't need those for the time being. Don't need these. And that'll do. I don't need the sugar for that much either, do I? So everything looks like it's sort of working nicely. Right, now I can just go back moon base don't know what he's shooting at hmm oh there's a zombie over there right let's have a look how are we doing for our antimon ingots now 40 well um, Okay, we're nearly there. It's getting on there slowly, isn't it? So let's have a look at that fusion reactor. So I don't need any of these in here now. This one. So we need the assembly table. So we need a fusion coil, 64 flame light and 64 uh, antimony ingots. So let's, what have we got on here? Got 41 of those, so we need flame. I, I might have put this in a different place, actually. I did. Oh, no, I didn't. And the one with the core, wasn't it? Not in there. It's not in there either. Hold on a second. This one. F coil. No. We haven't got a coil available. That's strange. Let's check in my bag just make sure I've not got a coil in my bag. And we'll just be sure we'll double click. It was fusion coil, isn't it? Fusion. 
it's not in there. I'll just double check in here in case I can't see because I'm blind. I won't be in those two because they're connected. Oh. That's strange. I'm sure I made one. Maybe not. Tell you what we'll do. Turn that off. Let's see if we can make a coil. Okay, I haven't made one yet. It's the assembly machine with an advanced machine casing and some raw unwrapped titanium. So I'll, no, I'll pronounce that correctly. It's un un pentium, which is which comes from actually one one from Latin and pentium is Greek for five. A bit strange, isn't it? The reason for that is it's got a it's got a, a periodic table number of 115. So that makes explains why that's called that. So let's see. We should have plenty of raw un, un, un titanium. So look. you can't type again. Yeah. So we need. I'll take. Was it 32, 64? I think it was 16, wasn't it? 16. Okay. So we'll just put those into. Leave that in there. I'll put those into the redstone furnace here. Yeah, that'll do. That'll go through quite quickly and should end up in this chest here. And then we need the advanced machine casing, which will, you know, from a few remember from the previous episode, took for another one thing, the thing that took forever to build. I've got one of those, I think there's one in here, I saw it, yeah. We've got a second one as a reward. So they need to go into the assembly table. I think it's one of those plus one of those. No, wrong machine. It's the assembly machine, isn't it? That's the one in the bat, the compact machine. Um, yeah, pretty certain it's in this one, isn't it? What we can do here, of course, is this should all finish. To, this should all be finished processing. So I don't even need to set up a recipe with this because it's probably going to take too long. Oh, sorry, central. Wrong one. Wrong one. Let's get out of here. They were over here. I probably don't need to set up a recipe for that. So we'll try it anyway like that and that. And then that should kick in. Yeah, there you go. It's going to be slow, obviously, because everything is these days. So but it's actually progressing now that will come back into here and there's no filters on that so it'll just come straight into the system once that's made fantastic right so how are we doing for ingots now another five so we're getting there, 46, not too many to go to, but I reckon that they're all downstairs. Let's go and, let's go and count how many we've got. It would almost make sense to make more blast furnaces, but they are a nuisance to make. 18. Yeah, that's the six, that's the, that's the 24, that's the ones we're missing. So they're going to take a while to do, aren't they? Let's see how slow this thing is. <laughs> there it goes. And this one, nearly finished. So we should see this coming through nicely. And then we just have to wait for the next bit. So there wasn't really, between episodes, I didn't do very much, to be honest with you. All I was doing was coming along, checking the machines are all working. And that was it. Because you have to maintain it, otherwise things just don't work. That's just about done. It's Looks like it's going to be done before the ingots. I was half thinking whether I should prepare the ingot. There we go. So we should be able to get that coil now. Hold on, please. Let's get that fusion coil out of here. This is going to take a while. So let's have a look. 
I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do a quick break now. Until we get all 64 of those. I'll put that like that. And then we'll see. And when I get 64 of those, I'll come back again. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, got them all. Let's get those going. So now we go and take those and we put those into the assembly into the assembly table. And we should be able to make a fusion reactor. That's stopped. Why is that stopped? Run out of stuff again. Ah, oh, okay. I'll sort that out in a minute. But at least it gives us some space to do this. I think we just need these strings things. And there we do. So we can now click fusion reactor. How much power does this need? Ah, oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> Look at the speed of that. 660, don't know, it's a lot. So we've got that now done. Let's go out of here. I wonder why this thing's not working. Oh, well, that won't work, will it? Let's cancel that one off. It's grown up being automatically crafted, probably because the system is sort of crafts them all grow. Well, I'm thinking about it. Let's make 10,000. Ah, oh, run out of coal. Only got 5,000, so we can only make 5,000. Let's make 5,000 then. That's what now it's missing 2,500. That's okay. <laughs> Let's make then 2,000. 2000. I don't understand that. <laughs> Cancel. How much do we have? Well, it doesn't matter. I'll leave that some other time. It should automatically craft um, that. What is doing next? Missing 16. So I've got no compressed. Ah, okay, I've got no compressed coal at all. But I could change the recipe for that to make use carbon to make that. That's a bit strange. I'm sure we had plenty this morning. Ah, uh, I do know why. And the reason for it is this. I'm getting a little bit distracted here, but it doesn't matter too much. See, that's doing moon dirt, and it's actually pr producing uncompressed coal at a reasonable rate. This one should be doing moon rock. We should also be producing something. Doesn't look like it's doing much at the moment. So we just basically, because it got all got blocked and backlogged, we didn't actually have any chance of doing anything. Um, so look how much dirt we've got in here. Fifty-two thousand. It actually won't last that long. I don't mind. Anyway, I'll sort that out in my own time. So let's have a look. Fusion reactor. We've got that finished, haven't we? So we can complete that quest. Detect. Claim. Done. So that's opening up the last one. HAL 9001, which I remember that was up. So we have to make one iridium plate. And we get a reputation of one. Okay, I think we can do how. Dave, I can't let you do that. <laughs> so, an iridium plate. I think it's actually not. I'm hoping this isn't too difficult. One ingot. Right, okay, we could actually make this the official way. Dungeon loot, yes, well we got that's where I've been getting most of mine, dungeon loot. Could grind it with get any ore. And we can put it in the Fuston reactor, which I think is the fusion reactor. Now I don't know whether this is a multi block structure. So we'll try it down. It'll need power definitely, so let's go and try this. And it'll need the right type of power. I guess it's gonna oh. need the power that everything else needs for this stuff. Where's it gone to? Right down here. So let's put that here. No coils. Okay, so it needs a coil. I guess that's what the coil was for. Um, that isn't too bad to make. Does it need a second? Ah, look. A, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, that's not a surprise, is it? It's got to be. It's got to be hard. Whatever else we're doing, it's got to be hard. So it looks like we need a load of coils. Okay, now the coils aren't too difficult to make. I think we can do that. But I've got to remember when I break this block, it's tech reborn. I've got to be careful. I don't break it. How many do we have to make? It's. Um, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll let you know next time. I'm going to have to count each one of those individually. Or look up on the wiki, but the wiki is, doesn't help me very much, to be honest with you. Wow. Okay, so that's why we got our coil. But the other coils aren't too much of a problem. <laughs> anyway, what we can do is we can... This is actually one recipe. The implosion compressor. Uh, we take that one. Hold on a second, I got confused between Iridium plates from Industrial Craft or Industrial Tecra Born. Tecra Born, I think this is wrong, which in fact is going to help me. Let's, <laughs> let's just try that, because we've got Iridium. We've got 33 Iridium that I made before. In fact, there's actually a good way to make Iridium. Let's look at the recipes for this. And the one we are going to do is actually do this Fuston reactor one, which makes me laugh. So we've got to put those two in there, but we also need those. Okay, yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm going to do that between... I'm going to make those calls between episodes and set it up somehow or other. If it's smaller than... If, uh, maybe I'll put it into a machine. It might be the easiest way to do is to put it into a machine, a compact machine. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. So that's that one. The reason for this, um, what we actually have to do is we have to sift blocks of iridium like this. So we get, then we can make nine of these plus one dash. Well, we've got stacks of dash, and these are actually nine. There's two ways to get a block of iridium. We can actually take a, a block of iridium by assembly table or just putting nine together. Or nine of these. Obviously, this is going to be cheaper because we're only using well actually these are using four ingots and one diamond dust from tech reborn i presume that diamond dust is just a straightforward oh it can be all converted no problem so we have to all convert diamond dust that we macerate or pulverize i think and then we should be able to do that it's a bit of a round robin thing isn't it so i'm going to make these because that's the rest of it. it's fairly straightforward. Advanced alloy is no big deal. So we need four of those. We can actually, let's get the advanced alloy being made in the, at the start, end of this episode. I've got 97, don't need to. I only need 32 of those. Um, and these, it's as simple as that, to get the ingots. So we can then actually start to do this. We just need some diamonds. We only need four and then we need eight we've got 31,000 we pulverize those oh look that's so sweet you can see it through everything <laughs> i didn't expect to see that and i want the fast pull that drives that doesn't make any difference to be honest with you it'll go fairly fast whatever we do they'll get put into here now they'll get imported will they probably get imported i was thinking about putting them into here they will but that's blocked with other bits and things which are not so useful right so we can go and get the diamond dust oh, i'll probably run over my time limit as well but we're nearly there let's have a look diamond dust seven Eight. That's what we needed. Now we just come to the ore converter, put those into there like that. We should get this one, so we get eight of those. So now we can actually then craft those these. Put those into that. We should get. Th oh, of course, it doesn't work. I put these in here like that. And we should get eight of those.
Hold on a second. I'm doing this wrong. Because that's oh yeah, that's four times as much more expensive. We won't do it that way. <laughs> Oops, that's uh, not clever. Let's do it like this. We get three blocks. I should have got four blocks, but let's use one on this thing. Ha. Ah. Okay. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sieve. I think I've probably got one. I've got some sieves around. I'm not sure exactly where they are. I think they might be in here. Look, two. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take, get out of my enchanting room. Let's go to the enchanting room here. And I'm going to get picks, pickaxes, efficiencies. I should be able to find a fortune pick, to be honest with you, or a fortune, a fortune um, book. I've probably got one on these, efficiency. Let's see, I've got a fortune one, silk touch. Should have more than one fortune. Well, I thought I had anyway. Let's just. Uh, I've got quite a few interesting shovels, but fortune, I should have expecting to see a fortune on one of these. Lots of efficiencies. In fact, let's have a look. I also have a store of pickaxes that get. Before I process them, they come into here like this. Oh, this one. Oh, actually, I haven't got very many. In fact, none of those are enchanted except for one sword. So all of that time, I actually haven't got very many shovels. That's a bit weird. Never mind. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's fun. <laughs> so until next time, bye for now.